Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles was released more than two years from now, and during that time the game has included new characters with pretty interesting skills, but if we wanted to classify them and define which are the top 10, it would surely give a curious result. Today we have that task. We are going to see, in my opinion, the 10 best characters from Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. Please keep in mind this stuff is based entirely on my personal opinion, it is not a general stipulation and obviously as the game evolves with DLCs and updates, this stuff may change. Let me know also in the comments what would be your top 10 characters in this game. Let's start. Number 10. Rengoku Rengoku Kyojuro is one of the most aggressive playable characters in this game, and one of the most rewarding characters by doing so. It's one of the community's favorites, we're not going to lie, but that's not why I put him in here, but because of the following factors. Rengoku has one of the two most damaging grabs in the entire game, along with the fire Tanjiro. Also, he is one of the easiest characters to use. You can practically mash buttons randomly, and it will be worth it for you. He has a high damage in many other of his attacks and combos but his low defense that is the large amount of damage that he can receive together with his assistance which to be honest is quite improbable makes this character not one who can go further on the list that's why we have him at number 10. Number 9. Akasa Having Akasa right after Rengoku is a little ironic, but the truth is that with several of the qualities that Akasa has at this point of the game, he is an extremely solid character. He has those combos and special skills with the kick that provides easy chaining of attacks. He had recent buffs regarding his grab, which is incredibly fast and with good damage. His special techniques are extremely fast and he also has a certain advantage over demons who fight at a distance, precisely because of its techniques that keep projectiles at range and can approach easily to attack hand to hand. Number 8. Fire Tanjiro The great amount of moments where this Tanjiro can cancel his attacks is what makes him very unique. He can even cancel one special to make another special. It has a large number of possibilities for optimization, both in the air and on the ground. It is one of the best characters when it comes to damage per hit and it also has one of those grabs that do the most damage in the game as we mentioned before. In addition to that, it is one of the grabs that have the most amount of range. Above all, it offers a lot of reset possibilities in the middle or end of his combos, that's why I consider fair to put him in this point at the top. Number 7. Rui. This demon is a reset monster. He can do it in almost any type of attack you make with him. From attacks with standard combos to techniques and dashes to restart the combos completely. It is very comfortable to use him for players who play from a distance, maintaining pressure and playing with the patience of the rival so not to let the opponent develop their playstyle the way they want. The range of his normal attacks, needless to say how ridiculous they are, his surge is excellent, his ultimate has incredible range and in general a very very solid character. Number 6. Water Tanjiro If Rengoku is an easy character to use, the standard Tanjiro is a beast with only two buttons. It's incredible how the chains between their special attacks are so effective even to get to the last after being for a long time in a vicious circle. It is a lot of reward for pretty little effort, and although in technical terms in a fighting game that should be fixed, it would be a mistake not to take advantage of those qualities, and even though that was nerfed, you can still practically abuse these advantages if you know how to do it correctly. Beyond that, he is a very standard character with decent damage, decent range in his attacks, and he is not slow at all, so I'll leave him right here. Number 5. Susamaru This lady, in my opinion, is almost the best demon in the whole game. Later you will see why, but in summary she has practically everything that is needed. Range attacks that are full screen, incredible damage, the recovery time she has between each projectile and hit is almost imperceptible, that's why it seems that the pressure you can apply is infinite. You never leave your rival alone and also the optimization of its attacks scales to another level with the implementation of its remote and melee attacks. It has resets, it has attacks with invisibility frames, in conclusion, an absolute blast. 
Number 4. Giyu One of the highest average damage characters in the game. Among all his qualities, light attacks, strong attack, grab, special techniques, air combo, everything in general has very good damage. This is my favorite character actually, most of all for its presence on the battlefield and its elegant optimization options. His special counter technique works like a parry with extension to even more devastating combos. He is able to cancel almost an entire moveset with this counter. He is one of the characters who best counterattacks the aggressive playstyle. If you want to go mindless against a Giyu, do not have any doubt that if your opponent knows how to use him, he will stop you right away. Among all the characters who use water breathe in the game, Giyu probably has the fastest water wheel of them all. Without more to say, a shiny character. Number 3. Senitsu. This character is very special because he is one of the few who, regardless of the situation or the type of attack with which he started a combo, he can exploit the optimization options in that combo to the maximum thanks to his high versatility and speed, both in normal blows and special techniques. In addition, it has potentially the best assistance in the game in terms of offensive because it is so fleet that it barely affects the damage scaling in a combo. In fact, it can even help you chain more combos. As an extra detail, it is so fast and with so much range that it's perfect for sniping enemies and catching them off guard. Also, the more time goes and the more patches arrive in the game, Senitsu continues and continues receiving damage buffs, so if it was already viable at the beginning, now he is climbing more and more in the player's tire list. Number 2. Enmu The one I consider the second best character in the game and the best demon without doubt, mainly because it's an improved version of what makes Rui good and what makes Susamari good. His distance attacks are very useful despite not being full screen and he makes up for this with his neutral combos which have a truly ridiculous range. But what I would really like to highlight in Enmu is his Mikri jab. This means that you can press the attack button and you can make a small delay before pressing it again, to create an infinite loop which does not qualify as an infinite combo but as an extremely useful tool to create a small opening for the opponent, try to counter attack quickly or mash and may not be able to do it due to the number of consecutive blows he throws. That is an incredible quality. On top of all, he has a great damage to his special techniques and grab, a pretty decent ultimate too, has that little advantage of receiving a little extra health, so if you haven't tried Enmu yet, you should definitely do so. Number 1. Nezuko The main reason why Nezuko is in the first place on my list is due to his versatility in many situations. She has practically everything to be a character that everyone can use and rewards very well to learn to use the right way. The damage she has is great, she has one of the grabs with the most range in the game. Her assistance is also excellent, in range, defensively and offensively. She simply does it all. Great mixes with very little effort, the resets are also there, the press pressure is tremendous, the ultimate has decent damage and range, its special attacks, despite seeming short range, they have a very good performance in long range scenarios. What Nezuko can do as a main character and as an assistance is simply incredible with her damage, optimization options and how powerful she is as an active character in pressure. It's something that you can probably only perceive if you're playing against a top player who uses Nezuko. This may vary with updates, but so far, I consider Nezuko, the strongest character in the entire game. Guys, remember to leave me your top of